In this video, we're going to take a look at how to install WPML. Now, it's a little different from installing a normal plugin from WordPress.org. Let me show you how it works. This is my demo site, Acme Industrial Manufacturing. It's a pretty standard site. First, you'll need to come here to WPML.org and click the Buy and Download button. Once you've purchased WPML, you can come back here and log in in the top right here and download any add-ons that you'll need. Then you go into your WordPress dashboard and go to Plugins, Add New. And on this page, we go to Upload Plugin. And we choose File. And I downloaded four different add-ons from WPML.org. SitePress Multilingual CMS is the main WPML plugin. But then I also have one for media translation, string translation, and translation management. Translation management is the one that allows a third-party translation service to connect to your website and translate for you. We'll go over each of these add-ons, but we'll install them one at a time first. So I click Install Now, and let me show you a little trick. Rather than activate, I'm going to return to Plugin Installer and install the next one. And I'll install all four of them that way. Now I've finished installing the fourth one. So I'm going to go to the Installed Plugins page and click the Inactive tab. And there they are. And now I can activate all of them at once. Now we have WPML installed. And at the bottom of our WordPress menu, you can see WPML. Now, the first thing we want to do is go to Languages. And there are very few settings on this page right now, but once we choose a language, there will be many more. So let's do these first. For SEO, we want to display alternative languages in the head section as early as possible. That tells Google that there are multiple versions of this website, which is normally bad, but because they're multilingual, it's particularly good. So the earlier we can tell that to Google, the better off we are. There's an option to put a thing on your website that says WPML is doing your translation. There's an option here to store a language cookie for Ajax, and that may not mean a whole lot to you. But what it really means is if you're doing e-commerce or anything that loads only a part of the page, you probably want this. And then we have the Translation Feedback Module. This is a relatively new feature for WPML. It allows your website visitors to give you feedback specifically about your translation quality. This is entirely up to you. It might be perfect for your site, and it may not be something you want. I'll leave that up to you to decide. But next, let's choose a language. So let's click Add Remove Languages. And here are all the different languages that can be used. We're going to choose Spanish. And now it says Spanish, with English as the default. And now that we've chosen a language, there are many more options down here. Across the top here are links to jump down to those options. So we've already seen the SEO options, but if I click here, it takes me right down there. In our next video, we'll take a look at how WPML enables site translation.